pro wrestling, if you really want to get into it and you really want to talk about it, number one, you have to recognize something very important, which is that it's the last great commercial bastion of performance art. It is true performance art. People suffer for their craft. These guys get hurt. If you think, if you're listening to this and you've never seen pro wrestling and you're thinking, pro wrestling's fake, you need to watch a little bit of pro wrestling, man. You can't fake falling eight feet onto your back. That, that mat is not a, a crash pad. It hurts. These guys suffer every night, and they're actors, ultimately. They use da- what is essentially dance, the art form of pro, pro wrestling, to tell stories. Uh, and on top of that, if you ever watch pro wrestling, it's structured like The Muppet Show, in that there's it, it, this and The Muppet Show are the only shows that work this way. Raw, WWE, Raw, and SmackDown, and The Muppet Show. Because, ostensibly, wrestling in in the in the contained fictional universe is supposed to be just guys coming out and having matches but stuff always goes wrong backstage and the big personalities and the crazy shit just like on the muppet show you would see the sketches but then you'd also see the anarchy going on backstage of them trying to put on the show yeah and that's exactly what pro wrestling is so it's completely uniquely formatted show the thing about wrestling that's hard like and it's hard for me to explain to people and maybe you'll disagree is that the way wrestling works, first of all, people say wrestling is fake, but that's idiocy because these guys get hurt all the time and put their bodies on the line for this. You don't see fucking Chuck Norris actually getting his back broken in these fights. You don't see Jason Statham getting destroyed. The thing that's hard about it is that you have to watch it like it's a normal TV show. If you watch it like it's Game of Thrones, granted, a lot of it's dumb. There's a lot of weird stuff that doesn't make sense, except for certain payoffs in wrestling and when things that are smart and surprising happen work like a lot of the stuff his character does is really compelling and and fun because you kind of want to see what he'll do next but like also just there's this thing called the nexus that showed up out of nowhere yeah I just, you're losing me. i'm losing you but this is this is the point I'm try, i try so hard not to get just lost stay with me on this part Ugh. when good things happen on wrestling yeah they are as good as something on amc or showtime the big twists and the big like plot events are extremely surprising and fun to watch. So it's like a written. It's a, there's a story to this. Yeah, the there's many, several stories. many stories. Yeah, yeah. They, they have writers, but I don't know how much input they have. I can never, I can never tell how it's actually done. It's. Uh, I mean, we have an entire creative department with some older past wrestlers mixed in with writers, and it is. It's a TV show with. 20 different intertwining stories every week trying to tell one more step of it or, um, you know, kind of bring them all together in, in one episode without, with constantly making you want to tune in the week, you know, the next week to see where we're going next. A character in wrestling is made up of many different parts, not just, not just like good or bad, because in the ring they have to do all this stuff. I, I see it, like you said, performance art. So I, stand-up doesn't count? Stand-up is not performance art, stand-up is comedy. Uh, Wrestling is your whole body, it's it's dance mixed with stunt work. I mean, you have to, he portrays, uh, even as he's saying, he has to think, what, while you're being hurt, you have to think about the best way to make looking hurt, getting hurt look great. That's, and, and the stories are taking places at different echelons in the hierarchy of wrestling itself. So there are guys who would seem weaker than other guys, who you get to watch slowly over the, no other TV show is like this, over the course of years, become more and more bigger characters as they work their way to the top. I think I'm seeing why Max sells so many movies. <laughs>